Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got something tough ahead of us today. I named this video a Sunday puzzle, and it's, well, a little bit because it's uh, published on a Sunday, but of course, you wouldn't know that if you don't watch it the same day I publish it. But more that I think you need to spend some time on this, and what is the best day to do that? Normally, Sunday for people, because this is not easy. It will take some time to analyze everything and you need time to do it so you cannot go to work while you are watching this video for sure you have to focus so anyway okay white uh, our pawns are going up here we are two steps away from promoting this one and we need to promote either pawn here to win this uh, the thing is of course how do we do it there are no easy answers here. There are long, uh, long variations. So you need to really post the video now, think about it and analyze it in full. So go ahead now and when you return, we go through it together. And welcome back. Okay, so how do we start? Well, either pawn wants to go and promote. If we do something stupid like take this pawn, well, it's uh, easy for black to uh, manage to get a draw. He will just take our pawn, put the rook here, and then, uh, uh, well, sacrifice the rook on the pawn here, and it's a draw. So uh, we need to uh, be aggressive, and we have three potential moves. Two are wrong, of course. This is wrong to play g8, uh, sorry, g7. It makes it too easy for black to defend. He will simply put his rook on e8. And if we try to push the next one, the king will come. And we cannot touch this anymore because the king will get in here and really protect everything. And bishop f6 doesn't help for uh, white either. Black can play king e4, attack this pawn. Even though we might look like we have a smart move here, uh, he cannot take it due to the fact that it promotes. But black will take here. And even if we try to be smart and block it out, black has a check and we'll put this rook here. So, no, that's not working. Okay. Uh, that was pretty easy to see that g7 doesn't work. What about f5? This is uh, pretty interesting, but it's not working either. So uh, the king you can either move the rook down to e1 or play uh, king d5 right away. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe g7 here. Rook to g4, and we will have the same uh, pattern as we looked at before. Uh, something like this and well we cannot go down here now uh, I mean he cannot go down here because then we will win to play this smart move uh, more on that later but black will simply just keep the king here aim to go down here and block everything finally with the king so we have some uh, different variations but we're gonna circle back to that on the main line which is the only winning move for white to begin with, is bishop e5. We're blocking here. These two are protecting each other. We are blocking the rook out, and we are really threatening to uh, go on with our g-pawn. Okay, black will now move down his uh, rook. e2 or e1 doesn't really matter. Put it on e1. And now we are pushing this forward g7 is the next move it's uh, pretty obvious it's uh, of course threatening to promote right away it forces the uh, rook to go to uh, g1 to stop this and the question is now how do we win here from white now it's a new uh, i would say uh, pattern here uh, we need to find out how we are putting our strategy right so post the video again if you haven't seen it okay only one move will win this, and it's not f5. If we play that, the king will come to d5, attack here. The bishop can come to uh, f6, and we've seen this before. The king will go away and really end up here on uh, f7. 
So we need to do something smarter than that. And that is after rook g1, we play this great move, bishop f6. It threatens to put the bishop on g5, which will permanently block out the black rook and really make it a win for us. So uh, this is just too slow, of course, with the king. I'll put it here and, well, it's an easy win. Again, black has only one defense, and that is, of course, to play rook g6. Is pinning our uh, bishop, uh, threatening to take it with a check, and it stops uh, also, of course, when it's pinned, we cannot play bishop g5. But we anticipated this, that was the plan. Now we have one move again, only one move that wins, and now it's getting really hard because it's not easy to see the next move. Can you see it? Post the video again if you need. Okay, the only winning move here, we need of course to get out of this pin, so we have to move our king, but we cannot take here on a7. It's too slow, and this pawn is actually needed later on uh to really be in the way for black so if we take this the king comes to d5 we try f5 which is a, uh, a practice we need here uh the rook comes down perhaps to g2 something like that and when we try to run here uh black will play king d6 king c8 it's too far away, and also black has a very good defense here in playing rook a2, allowing the promotion, followed by the check here, and take whatever we promote to. And this is also one of the reasons we cannot take this pawn. It needs to be here, it needs to be in the way, so black cannot come to a8. So, backing down a bit, uh, not too much. Sorry, so we cannot play king takes a7 here. The move we have to do to win this is to play king b7. We are just ignoring this pawn. It will be a very long time before it's a threat, so we don't have the time to take it now. We need to hurry up and help out with the king over here. Okay, what happens now? Well, the next move for black, it's pretty obvious. You see, of course, that he cannot take here. We will simply promote. So he wants to get the king involved, uh, wants to get up here and stop everything. And now we saw it before. This is an obvious move. F5 threatens the rook. It protects the e6 square so the black king cannot come any closer. And black still cannot take our bishop because we will promote. So after uh, F5, black will have to get down. Uh, let's put it on g1, doesn't really matter. Okay, so how do we win now? Again, it we need to play exact. So this move is not winning. We simply take it and, well, it's just too slow, of course. You see, there's no point in... Uh, in sacrificing the bishop right now no we have to move the king when we want to get closer but we cannot go to c7 and i will explain this later we have to leave the seventh rank the king must go to c8 and it you will be aware of this later why if you can't see it yourself right now so the king comes here okay now black has two moves really to uh, to uh, progress here. If we place king e4, looks good, attacking, and we cannot uh, protect it, but bishop g5 is just too easy. It's, uh, it's a simple win here. Beautiful bishop sacrifice. If it takes, we will play f6, and these cannot be stopped. And now you see, why the king has to be on the 8th rank and not the 7th. Imagine if the king would be here. Then 
black could play king f5 we play f7 black takes the pawn and if the king would have been here our pawn would have been pinned and we would lose the game now instead we play f8 promote to a queen and from here we are winning that is great play and really be careful where we put our king and we win this like this okay so uh we were looking at oh no i backed too too far away okay let's do it quick we looked at this f5 king comes down the king has to go to c8 we looked at king e4 what happens if plays king d6 instead now this is uh, why we didn't want to take this pawn but now the king is on c8 and not on b8 and it's pretty easy we just go towards the pawn everything is blocked here the king doesn't come any closer this pawn is in the way so uh, black cannot play the rook here well there will be taken but if we would be on uh, g2 we could have played it here now if you try something like rook b1 well we simply just keep on going with our king because we will have the bishop to put in between if the check comes and this will be a loss for sure and really black doesn't have any else he can do move away the king or just go back and forth with his rook king will come to e8 and you see of course it will be a easy win in the end we will protect our pawn we will get a a queen here black has to sacrifice and we win this as white so that was my little sunday puzzle did you follow it through all the way then you did a very good job uh, i hope it wasn't too messy i hope i managed to explain everything right thank you everybody for watching have a great sunday if it is a sunday today for you i don't know okay bye bye